But the easiest way to do that is to elect people who, in their core, are principled human beings. There is a difference between somebody who is a politician and somebody who is a politician with a core. You've got to have political skills to be governor. But you also, if you're going to be a good governor, have to have a reason that you wanted to be governor besides, I'd like to be governor. If you look at Bill Bradbury's record, as far back as you want, he has been a reformer in the Secretary of State's office, for example. And he always stood up for people, including people where it wasn't so popular to stand up for them, particularly the LGBT community. If you stand up for the things that are right, that gives them permission to do what they know is right and stand up when it's not so easy to stand up. That's the kind of government by the law that's the kind of government that gives up. There is not any question in my mind that if you look at all, everybody who's running for governor, that there is only one progressive candidate running for governor who has the opportunity to win, and that is Bill Bradbury. And what's at stake here is not just somebody's running for governor and we want our person to win and all that kind of business. What's at stake here is how fast we're going to move forward in one of the most historically progressive states in the country. There was only one state in the union that did the bottle bill before we did, and it was Oregon. Yeah. Was, this is the place I would live if I couldn't live in Burlington, Vermont anymore. <laughs> Yeah. So, this is an extraordinary place and it deserves an extraordinary governor. And without further ado, it is a great pleasure for me to introduce an extraordinary, extraordinary candidate for governor who will soon be an extraordinary governor for an extraordinary state, Bill Bradbury. statement, uh, especially coming from someone who knows what it takes to be governor, because uh, he's been one. So it's a real honor to have his endorsement. And I have to say right now that it's an incredible honor to me to have the endorsement of another person who knows what it takes to be governor in the state of Oregon, and that is one of our most wonderful governors ever, Barbara Roberts. There are some Democrats who say we must abandon our values at that mythical altar of post-partisan politics. And they say that once again we must apologize for the very ideas and values that Oregonians and Americans voted us into office to implement. I categorically reject that approach. And here in Oregon, we have the opportunity to lead the Democratic Party and the nation in standing up once again. Well, in fact, we already have. Yeah. yeah. Oregonians really did a remarkable thing in January with Measure 66 and 67. <laughs> voted their hopes instead of their fears. Yep. Thanks in part to many of you here in this room who worked your tails off. <laughs> <laughs> and after. So it's really, really remarkable that in the midst of the worst economic crisis in our lifetimes, they voted to protect our schools, public safety, and the most, most vulnerable citizens in this state. But we cannot stop now. We must use this victory to move forward and continue to lead the nation in showing that when you stand for progressive, grassroots, democratic values, 
People will stand with you. So, it's really time to take a stand. I will be the next governor of Oregon.